Hi, okay, so we're gonna make the little blue truck today. We're gonna draw it step by step, and then we're gonna add some color because that's my favorite part. Okay, so here's my book. You can see it's a Chrome library book, and I do just absolutely love the details and the funny characters. That's just amazing. I love the landscape too. Beautiful fall landscape. Can't wait to get started. Okay, so the first thing you do is you draw two little circles, kind of like maybe about like a hand space apart, like about the distance of your finger to your hand, end of your hand. Then you draw circles around those circles. Like that. Then you draw a very horizontal line, two of them, to connect those two shapes. The next thing we do, we draw for the, they're gonna be like the covers for the tires. These are the tires of the little blue truck. And we're gonna start by drawing two lines straight out. One like this and one like that. Then we're going to curve those lines over your circles. This one's gonna be kind of big because it's the front of the car, front of the truck. So I guess that's how they do it in truck land. And then this one's gonna be more like closer to the circle like that. Just uh, like this one's a little thicker. Doesn't have to be perfect by any means. Then we're going to go ahead and do um, basically the bottom half of the truck, which would be just a rectangle. So two straight lines up like this evenly and then connect them like that. The next thing is to do a vertical line from the, this shape and it's going to go up to your rectangle top and then go past it up in the air a little bit. And then this will be kind of the passenger part of the truck. It's a little blue truck. It's not a big blue truck. <laughs> it's okay. It's one of those old timey farm kind of trucks. Okay, so then this comes over here. We're gonna make a rectangle down and this line is gonna stop right there. Next to this top little rectangle, we're gonna add a slanted line for the windshield like that. And then the rest is just kind of adding these little bitty details. So one of the details is a little rectangle here. I think that's the bumper. A detail would be a circle there. I think that's the gas tank. Um, if you put a half circle here, that could be like the door handle. And then we're going to thicken up some of these other shapes here. So right next to this straight line that slants, we're going to do a like a sh little neighbor line that's right next to it. And then at the bottom, we're gonna pull out the opposite way, like that. Uh, we're gonna add a very, very narrow triangle up here, or not triangle, it's a rectangle. Mm, rectangle at the top, and it goes out a little bit past the triangle, perfect. Um, inside this little bitty triangle, if you can fit it, you should draw a little slanted oval and little lines. That's like the steering wheel for the little blue truck. And there's a couple more details like, oh, there's a line that goes down here to separate the door from the engine. And then three little lines that are like vents for the engine. And then a headlight. And the headlight in the story is kind of like the little, little eyes like that, which is kind of cute. Maybe I'll put a little eyeball like that. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Okay, so there's my little blue truck. And right now my little blue truck is just sort of floating off into space, which is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and color my blue truck blue. I'm not doing my super best coloring, am I? It's okay. All right. Um, 
since my little blue truck is just floating in the white space, we need to give them a landscape to be in. So that would be lines that show the land around the truck. So I'm going to do um, a, like a line here for the part of the road that's close to me. And then I'm going to do another line over here for the other side of the road. Now he kind of looks like he's traveling down a path. Okay, one, one thing I loved about that book is all the like beautiful um, movement in the background of the pages. So I'm going to do like the same kind of thing, like hills in the background, maybe some trees, make that a shape. You could add a barn, you could add birds, you could do anything. You could put people in the truck right now. The truck is empty, I guess, but you could have somebody in the truck driving. Um, just so many possibilities. Maybe there's a bird friend up here. You could get markers and other crayons out to start to add color. If you have them, you might even want to use some paints to color, especially if you have crayons and watercolors or water-based paints. You could do some really cool things with this artwork. And then I think people will really love your fall little blue truck picture. I happen to have some watercolors right here and I just can't help myself. Watercolors are my favorite things to paint with. So I'm going to do some painting with my watercolors. So I'm going to get my brush really good and wet. I'm going to use that black color to paint the road. Watercolors are meant to be kind of see-through. They're not supposed to be like perfectly solid. The secret to watercolor is water. Always add water. I'm even gonna paint my blue truck because I want the blue to go inside all the little cracks. I think that looks really good. Trees are orange because it's fall. All right, so that's my little blue truck and he's tootling on down the road and he's headed for his next adventure. Um, here's another one that I did with even kind of like it's dry, which is awesome. Um, it takes up a little more space. It's up to you um, how you draw your, where you draw your truck and what you put in your truck and all the fun little details that might um, be in your artwork because what you make is special to you and to me. It's special because you made it. All right, guys, I hope you had fun making the little blue truck. 
I will see you next time.